Menachem, you are 89 years young, and you're here in the Alps, and is it inspiring to you to be here in this environment? Does it change in any way the way you're approaching music? Maybe it does change because, I mean, you are never not influenced when you hear something very beautiful. You have here great pianists, you have here great violinists, you have here great cellists, and the com camaraderie between them is wonderful. And so you hear a performance, you think, no, I may not have wanted to do it that way, but look how beautiful it came out, mm -hmm. that particular way. I must try it, mm -hmm. yes? So you are influenced by it, and at the same time you are influencing too. I have been teaching, generally I have been teaching every year when I came, mm -hmm. but this year, being so very busy, I only taught one master class in chamber music. And it is marvelous to see young people, of course, being a teacher as I am in Bloomington, it is very meaningful to me to see young people wanting to be in music, wanting to do well. and. That's which I will always teach and believe in, and I think that's here very much the case. I think that Martin Engstrom has been instrumental in really mentoring so many wonderful Ab young artists. Absolutely. I mean, he mentored them when they were not known. Yes, he made them known. He, he believed in them, and he, no matter what anyone would say, would give them a window to be seen, and, and most of them, succeed, very successful, have been seen. And he's a big hugger. Does he hug you a lot? He even kisses me. Good. Now, <laughs> let's go as far. But, but I am thrilled, yes. I, I know him, and I love him. I admire him. I think he has impeccable taste as far as his repertoire selection is concerned. And he wants his audience to have that feeling. You can hear anything, you can participate in anything, and you can even touch all of these superstars.